Today is the date and time set for pre-trial in the matter. And um, I, I want to make the record reflect that um, Ms. Gibson is accompanied by his mother, Ms. Dallas. Um, and Ms. Dallas, I, 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 I told your son to specifically come in. I look at his, uh, his um, making sure young, young people, you know, do the right thing, stay out of trouble, and if at all possible, keep their records as clean as possible. And I don't know if we took a plea in this case. Well, I think we took a plea in this case already. So he had committed to the allegation. And um, I reserved uh, the sentence, the, or at least the money portion of the sentence, which would have been $240 because I wanted him to take a drug, a, a, a gun safety course, mm -hmm. and I wanted him to um, get a job because I see sitting back, look like, I'm sure he's kind of a gamer, look like he's in his room. And, uh, and I, 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 I stress the fact that you're an able-bodied young man and you should be either in school a training program or for a uh, for a skilled trade, or you should have some kind of job, and 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 that's what is important to me. And he comes in a month or so later, and he tells the court that he is waiting on somebody to call him. Now I did confirm that the probation department did not. Uh, have his phone number that they couldn't call. But more importantly, it's all about being responsible. May I? You may. Okay. Um, Come on, his, step up and, and talk into the mic so they can. The initial paperwork that came from the court, which would have explained the class he needed to take and everything was handed to me directly from the mail carrier. It was in my vehicle. The day, that night, my vehicle was stolen. I have the police report in my purse if you need me to provide it to you. So he did not have access to know what class he was supposed to take and everything. Once I realized after I got done with everything with the vehicle, I told him, I said, your court paperwork was in the vehicle. You need to call and try to catch your court date. He called. They asked him to sign into your courtroom that day. It was towards the end of the day. He could not get into your queue. So he called back the following week, which because it was a Friday. He called back that Monday. They set him a new court date, which is when he just came back to see you. He has, he does have employment. He is working for special needs people in home. He's been training. Actually, he missed one of his clients yesterday. He was supposed to see him at nine o'clock, but he was in your courtroom on Zoom. So he is employed. Uh, Prayers doesn't run the streets or anything. He does actually game, but he is monetizing that gaming. He has his own channel on Twitch and YouTube. Like he, he's not just doing nothing. All right. All right. And that's what's the most important thing to me. I got that sort of impression. He did tell me that he started he started working, and I'm happy about that. I got that sort of impression by him. And I want him to, to, to really. Uh, 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 understand that this is his case, this is his obligation, um, and that this is serious. This is not something that we, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't want him to, I kind of felt he had a sort of a cavalier attitude about it. Unfortunately, that's just his demeanor. I'm just, okay, and, 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 and I can respect that, but I want him to, uh, uh, on anything in life, you have to continue to press. If you have these obligations and you know you take these classes, you could have come to me and you could have said, listen, I, I found a gun safety class online. That's all, that's all it is. And I took this class. Here, here, I, I, I did this. Well, Perez is not actually untrained on the weapon that he fired. I, he he shouldn't have fired it. I'm not saying yeah. that it was. So, it so was not, but so when the gun Dallas, first made it in the home. Mm -hmm. Let's say this. Your motherly instinct is, is always going to kick in. Mm -hmm. And I respect that. And I'm glad that you're here. But that incident should not have happened. 
he he told me the 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 the, the underlying thing about to happen is just a little stray dog, and it should not have happened. And being trained on the being trained on the use of the weapon also comes with the responsibility of knowing when to use the weapon. That's a that's one of the major parts of it as well. Because if you if you were completely trained and you completely understood that, we wouldn't be here right now. So this is this is what I was trying to express to you when we had the conversation. And if I recall correctly, I don't feel that you understood that part about what I was saying. May I? You may. It was kind of hard for me to do that because I was trying to explain myself, but you raised your voice and it just made me feel like, you know, do, do you even do it even matter? Because by the way, you raised your voice at me yesterday and I just thought it was kind of a call for it. I was staying calm with you the entire time. I didn't raise my voice once, you know, trying to, we're both grown, you know, you're obviously more grown than me, you know, but we should be able to have this conversation as men and, you know, in the court of law, of course. Well, I'm mean, acting well, like a man. Without having to raise uh, our voice. But, but, but the thing is, is that I, I I probably do get a little excited about these things because I have a passion for young people and getting them on the right tracks. And I want to I want to sort of stress the fact that we shouldn't go 30, 60 days or whatever it was, and then you come in and you have nothing for me. If it were me, or my son, I would want you to, you, you didn't get any satisfaction on the phone, come down here, make a trip, because this is 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. This is your life. And I want, I, I think everybody in this room wants your record to be as clean as possible. And that's what I want. That I may get a little, I may get a little excited sometimes. Because, but I'm only be, being excited because I want you to, to step up and do, and everybody in here to step up and do what's necessary to clear their clear this these matters up. And this matter particularly is very it, it, it is, is an excitable thing for me because. You're 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 dealing with you're dealing with weapons, and and the discharging of weapons in the city limits. Okay, so I'm glad to see you have a well. I I I I take your word. I, I took your word yesterday that you are working, and I'm, I don't need to see any proof of that. I'm glad to see your mom is here, but I just want you to make. Uh, uh, well, first of all, better decisions. Secondly, I want you to take this type of stuff, particularly when it involves your freedom and when it involves your record that can follow you for the rest of your life. I want you to take this extra, extra serious. So that may be the reason for my excitement all about. It. Now, is there anything further you want to say to me? On this letter, no. No. All right. All right. I appreciate uh, you coming down. I appreciate mom, you step, you coming down. I hate if you had to take a day off of work for this. I work my nights. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get you out of here and get you uh, to uh, get get your rest. Um, I want you to go to probation. And do you have a probation officer assigned to you? No. You know, there is one matter I would like to ask about, though. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that you can put in an order that the weapon be returned to me? It is illegally purchased and assigned, uh, registered to me. Um, they told me that it wouldn't be returned to me without your say-so. Is that what they said? That's what the precinct told me, yes. All right. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely uh, uh, sign any kind of order. Let me ask uh, Mr. Fillmore, uh, can you opine on that? Uh, Your Honor, the, the, 
these situations, I feel like the uh, the rules are applied differently at, at each time. So I, I'm not exactly sure how the what the process is, um, but um, I don't I don't know why if the case is going to be uh, dismissed. Um, I don't I don't see how they can hold your gun, but like I understand uh, what counsel is saying. Um, your Your Honor, I'm sorry I, I to interrupt. Believe- I think I see Ms. Harris has raised her hand. She might be able to give us some input on this. Go ahead, Ms. Harris. I'll give it to Mr. Brophy because I think she was responding. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. You know, you read it more recently than me, I'm sure. (laughs) Probably not. But I would say I've seen cases where we have had to get an order, but you might need the prosecutor to sign off on that. All right. Ms. Harris, can you put your appearance on the record, please? Sure. Cherica Harris, P72832. Good morning, Your Honor, and good morning to your staff. All right. Good morning. Good morning. So whatever, whatever, it, 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 if you um, will have the city attorney in here and he'll be in, in the room or the courtroom momentarily, you guys can have a seat. And if we need to uh, get an order, I have no problem um, in, 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 in returning that weapon. I just want to make sure that uh, Mr. Uh, Gibson takes that gun safety course, okay. all right? Uh, I think that no matter how well or proficient you are in it, I think everybody can use uh, some re-education on that, all right? All right, so let's take a, let's take a, a, a pass the matter momentarily and um, we will we'll, uh, try to get Mr. Hill in here. Oh, he's in the um, room. Can you, um, uh, Attorney Hill, can you uh, put your appearance on the record, please? Yeah, and one more thing. Another thing I was, you know, another thing when we talked about um, back first when we, when we when you first came in, that was, um, you know, when you mentioned you weren't working. And I, I told you at that time, I said, Mr. Gibson, it's jobs everywhere. You know, um, uh, you're but is it 19? Uh, I'm going on 20. You got to start somewhere. And I guarantee you, if you want more, all you have to do is just continue to work and go after it and get it. And that was another thing when you, I think you were like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any work and I'm not, you know, at one time, at, at that time. And I said, no, you can go out and get a job pretty much in um, and I'm glad you, I'm glad you did that and just continue to, uh, uh, persevere, continue to, uh, educate yourself and move forward. And you have a whole life ahead of you. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Anything you want to be, anything you want to do, it's going to be, uh, all you have to, it's, it's going to be on you. All you have to do is continue to move forward and do it. It will be, um, you, you, you'll come out ahead. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and pass the matter. When Mr. Hill, when Mr. Hill is um, in, we'll, we'll see if he uh, has any objection to that. And we'll hear his objection if, if so. And then I'll make a decision and um, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get you guys back on your way as soon as possible, all right? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.